What's going on guys, it's Kedra with 9 Twitter for Photography and we are out here with another video, yes sir! Today we are reviewing the Lens Go microphones. I actually have the Lens Go on right now, as you can see right here. The distance on these microphones are up to 50 meters. So uh, right now we're at one of my workshops and um, we're just teaching these people how to shoot with their cameras like this session right here is the natural light session so when we're talking about natural light come on follow me real quick when we talk about natural light uh we not we're not using any external flash at all we have new students here this guy's a seasoned uh, photographer shooting with a 7200 canon and uh the thing with shooting with natural light here is you get shadow. So if you don't have any reflectors or anything at all, it's kind of hard to get that exposure what you need. So in my next class, which is going to be at 10 a.m., we're going to add light in to make our subjects pop out. What's going on, guys? It's Keith with 924 Photography Man, and I hope you liked that intro. Today we are talking about the LensGo 328C wireless microphone kit. Now, uh, we're going to go through some of the ins and outs today. Um, if you missed our live feed that we did on Facebook, we did a giveaway with LensGo. They gave away six different prizes. Uh, the first prize being the 328C uh, wireless kit. I think the $199 one. So you would get the uh, transmitter and the receiver for $199. And then they have a two kit uh, receiver that's $299. It comes with two transmitters and one receiver. Um... Also, you can do, I think you can do one transmitter, but these microphones, uh, it's tons of them out there. I have the Rode, I have uh, the Ceremonics, and the Ceremonics look just like this, but they are made a little bit different. But at the end of the day, these microphones are pretty darn good. I was using the LensGo microphone at the beginning of this intro, so I hope that you like that. And it sounds amazing. And you may say, Kedron, why should I go and not get the Rode because of, you know, Rode name brand or Ceremonics or uh, Didity or whatever? Well, a lot of times these manufacturers always come from overseas anyways. And, like, literally, I'm going to tell you what's good about this microphone. This microphone has an SD card slot under the bottom. So... The range is 150 meters. I think that's if you, I, my math could be wrong by 500 feet or something like that. And I tested it, and I'm going to show you in this video. I tested it, the range. It cut out here and there. But the cool thing about this is if you put the SD card in here, no matter if your signal goes away, you'll always be recording in your transmitter. So make sure that you're putting an SD card in there and have uh, enough space on it so you can just you know, record your audio and you can just lay it up under your track later and then you will have a clean feed even if they went further out. So if I was to do a range test with this and I had my SD card in there, no matter how far they run away, as long as I'm still recording in the same scene, then I'll be able to sync it up and it'll be, you know, good to go. So again, uh, you get the receiver and you get a transmitter. The transmitter is the only one that has the SD, the micro SD card under the bottom. Uh, we're going to go through some menu settings in here. It takes AA batteries, so I think you can get the rechargeable ones. It has a USB-C for uh, up, uh, updating and stuff like that, and I think you can charge with it as well. So on the transmitter part, the, uh, the power button will be here on the top, and you have a line in and a mic in. So your, your lavalier will go into this port and then your line in if you bring some mess in we're going to line in and then for this you have a one that you can go to a monitor out so you can hear the audio coming out of the uh, out of here and going into the monitor and then you have an output right here um, if you need it so without further ado I made this video um, that I that we did on a natural light workshop for Samantha so thank you so much Samantha for uh, participating in this video for this live feed. Also, we have another lighting workshop that's going to be in Houston, August the 22nd. So you can contact Sam Serrato. That'll be S-A-M-S-E-R-R-A-T-O to register. Uh, we only have a few more spots open in the morning, and then we have like three or four in the evening. So if you want to get in on something like that, Definitely hit her up on Instagram so you can go ahead and register, especially if you're in the Houston area. I don't want y'all to miss this lighting workshop because we got some models out there and we're going to have some fun and we're going to make some dope content. So uh, first, I'm going to play this video 
that I made for um, Let's Go and uh, I keep saying um a whole lot. Andy Cine, the 4K monitor. So without further ado, let's watch that right now. So we are out here at Oak Point Park and we are doing some natural light shooting using some sun to backlight our subjects using some leading lines. Well, you're 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 running that thing like a master. I see you rolling it back and forward. So, I mean, the 50 is always, it's a good lens. It's a solid lens. It's, it'll, I still take it out. And I, I did the 1.8. When I first started, it was like $125. But I did upgrade to the 1.4. And it, it, it does make a difference in your pictures. So just try these lenses and see which ones you like. You'll get a feel for which one is good for you, which one is your, your honey, honey lens. Hi guys, so my class is going really good. It's like 10 something and it's really hot and it's gonna get hotter. Um, but we're doing a lot of learning and we're having a lot of fun and we're doing a lot of getting to know each other. Um, we hope to see you next time. God dog, I put a little time in that one. I tell you that. Before I uh, sit, go over to my co-host Lonnie Strickland, I want to say thank y'all so much for joining in. And again, if y'all missed the giveaway, the giveaway was on my Facebook page yesterday. But what I want to do is next week I'll be live again on Tuesday at 10 a.m. with uh, Andy Cine. So I'm going to be reviewing their 7 inch, uh, I think it's the 7C or the C7 uh, monitor uh, live. I will be playing this video again as you saw that I was using it in the video. But we are talking about these microphones today that uh, although I have all the rest of them and I'll, I'll get the other ones out in a few minutes just to show you the comparison. This one is a lightweight. So right now I'm going to bring in my co-host uh, Lonnie Strickland. Lonnie Strickland, how do you feel? Hey, what's up, my brother? Good morning, good morning. 
How you doing? Can you hear me, Key? Yeah, I can hear you. Go ahead, talk. Oh, okay. Hey, hey, man. Happy birthday. Oh, that's all you get, bro. Happy birthday, man. Happy birthday to my brother today. Uh, okay, oh, back to the topic. <laughs> How I feel? Uh oh. Oh man, something happened. He was talking. Hold on. All right. Hey, hey, this is live TV. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Uh, happy birthday. Yeah, today is my birthday, and I am working on my birthday. No, no, no time off. Chris Martin said, yes, sir. Fire. Thank you so much. I hope y'all like that video. I'll probably play it one more time for more people that come on uh, later on. So, Lonnie, when we talk about these microphones, how can this microphone help you in the field versus if we have, like, this is the wireless microphone. We're not talking about the ones that go on top of the camera, the shotgun mics. We're talking about these wireless microphones. What is your best feature on this microphone? Carly says happy birthday first off. Yeah, I said thank happy you. birthday. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So what are right. what, what, so what do you think? The 308, or 328, because they have a 308 too. I don't know why I keep getting confused. Um, first off, you're not going to find another microphone at this price point with the internal recorder. Um, that there is a life saver slash game changer. I can hear you running around stuff over there. Uh, the with that internal recording, it cuts out all the interference, uh, and all the clicking and popping. Even if you get too far away from the receiver and the sound drops out, you still have an internal safety net. Uh oh, keep you there. Yeah, I'm here. I'm letting you talk, man. I'm over here doing some other yeah. stuff. Hey, man, you supposed to be the co-host. Hey, 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 man. Hey. You, you, multi, you multitasking. We're supposed to bounce. We're supposed to bounce this thing. I know, but when, when you on there by yourself, when I got you on live by yourself, because oh, it's I live. Couldn't, I couldn't tell them by myself. I'm, I was in the, I'm in the comments, bro. Boy, I almost said something. Listen, you are live by yourself. <laughs> you run this show until I come back when you hey, see man. us both on screen. <laughs> God, hey, no. You can't be, you can't be hey, dumping man. me off. Hey, man, listen, man. So, hey, that's what a uh, co-host is. Yeah. Yep. So for, tell me about the weight on these things. As far as your weight comparison. Oh, okay. So if we're talking about weight comparison right now. So right here I have, just so people don't think I'm lying, like I don't have these products. I have the Rode. I have the Rode Filmmaker Kit Pro. Um, so when we talk about size, here's the size. This Rode Filmmaker's Kit, this is the transmitter. I'm, I want to get a transmitter too. This is the receiver. Hold on. Let me grab the transmitter. And this is uh, LensGo's transmitter. I guarantee this one is a lot heavier. Uh, when we talk about batteries, this one take double A's. And this one takes double A's as well. Uh, but this one is obviously heavier uh, just a little bit. Now, when we talk about ceremonics, now before, when I show you these ceremonics, they look just alike. Like literally, just alike. this. You add the Sony for them, and that's, that's three of a kind. Look, they look just alike, man. They have the same battery compartment here. And this is the lens go. If I, was a, if I wasn't to tell you to cover these up, actually, I did a test yesterday. And I was like, babe, which one is the ceremonic and which one is the lens go? She said that this was the lens go and this was the ceremonic. And actually, this is the lens go. So, but like I said earlier, the reason why this one, I like this one so much is the micro SD card. And it will save your butt in a pinch, especially if you forgot to record audio or you, if you're going embedded, which is going straight into the camera and you forgot to plug your microphone in all the way, you at least have the audio right here. Would you agree? Uh, absolutely. So, uh, and that, you know, what? and use the air is like one of the most <clears throat> common problems with having yeah. these products is you rush it on the job and you forget to plug in the 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 mic. Or even or even on the Sony's, people plug it into the wrong plug. Yeah. So even if you plug it into the wrong plug, you still got that safety net of internal recording. <clears throat> Koi. Exactly. And it's recording all the time. So you might have a big, long file, but you should be able to find it. Uh, Chris Martin, let me tell you. So Chris, 126 from Houston, he uh, he saw me using these microphones while we were at our workshop, the video that I showed you. And I'm going to play it again one more time later on in his feed. Uh, he went out and bought him a set, and he said he, he really likes it. Like, it ain't no sense in you going out 
spending extra money to get these. Don't get me wrong, these are great. And the ceremonies are great. But it's no it's no need to go out there and spend extra money when you have products that actually work. And let me tell you something for the people that's on my YouTube channel. I am not going to come over here and promote something that I don't uh, use myself. If I don't like a product, right. like every time that they message me, Lonnie, anytime that these companies message me, if I said, if I don't like this product, yeah. I do not want to. Elimination. Yeah, I don't want I don't want to review this product at all. If I don't like it because I don't want to give y'all a negative review, I'll just rather send this back to you and we just call it even and we just go from there. Because I I, I truly believe that I love to use stuff in the field. Whereas I'm a person that actually uses these things and not real technical. Lunny is the more technical side and he likes to dive into the stuff. I just want it to work. Yeah, that is very true. That is very true. If something don't work for Keith and Lord, y'all forgive me. Pray for him. Yeah, he already knows. He Lonnie, y'all don't see y'all see the real me. Like when you see me on here, that's how I am all the time. But I'm ten times more turnt and crunk and a diva out off, off, off of this camera. So if it ain't something working, I'm calling Lonnie. Like he, he said, diva. Lonnie yeah, he, he probably already said y'all. He he just acting like he don't see it at all. So what we're gonna do right now? We're gonna play this long range test with Sam. Uh, you're gonna hear some cut ins and cuts outs of the microphone as it you know goes out but the audio is still clean throughout uh but if i would have had my micro sd card in which i had left it at home and then put it in here i could have just cleared up all that audio but i wanted a raw test this is unedited nothing touched let's watch it right now so once we get over there tori what i'm going to need you to do is we're going to do a couple of standing poses i don't know if we can still hear each other but i'm pretty far away from the transmitter now that's 50 feet, huh? Yeah. We're certainly way over 50 feet at this moment, and I don't know what the audio sounds like, but we hope it's good. We're really stretching the limits of this microphone today. And don't forget it's hot, too. All right, so. Oh. Oh. It's, um, let me see. It's a dress for short girls, we'll put it that way. Like, I could probably wear it as a dress and it'd probably hit my knees. And it's like this, you have uh, what we call open shade. Mm -hmm. What I like to do, oh wow, we just lost it, is still put her back of the head in the part where it's lit so that you still get that backlit look. Yeah, so, that was our little range test. Me and Lonnie will go out and we'll do more of a range test. But trust me when I tell you, uh, Samantha was pretty far. She went around the trees. And like I said, if I would have had my micro SD card in here, Lonnie, um, I wouldn't have had no issues. Yeah, I would have got all the audio right. back. So, so after listening to it just now, I did hear that 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 little hiss, the interference hiss. Yeah. And when she, every time she talking, it's like, shh, shh. Yeah. So when you... When you put the SD card in, that will cut that out. So that'll be gone. So I guess we're going to have to that'll test it, test it. But because that's recording directly into it and ain't trying to travel across the signal, correct? Exactly. So, yeah. so all that, that's that's interference that you're getting. And um, that'll be gone once you record internally. And it, and, it, and it makes sense because, you know, like when you're recording straight into like a Zoom 6 or a another like multi recorder or something, it's like literally going into this transmitter right then. So you're getting the cleanest audio as possible. Right. So, so the key is here is it's just like being hardwired to the Internet. Yeah. So everybody know a, a straight connection, a line hardwired connection is going to be more secure than wireless. Absolutely, absolutely. So this is what I want to say. Um, I forgot what I was going to say. I'm getting too old. Today is my birthday. I, I literally forgot yeah. what I was going to say. Happy 50, happy 55th. Man, I'm telling you, boy, I'm getting old. But, hey, what I want to do is I'm going to show y'all just a, so another video where we did some testimonials where we used this microphone where it was, like, right here uh, close to us. So I wanted to give a shout-out again to 126 Photography for he was doing the filming and I was doing the B-roll on the side. Um, and But we were using the lens go. We mic'd them up so you might not see the mic, but it was a live, like, right here. And I use these road stickies so you don't see the little, like, little clips on there. So let's watch that video as well. 
Hey y'all, it's Delisha with DeFlora Media Group. And listen, the workshop today with Kedron and 924 Photography was absolutely amazing. If you are a photographer and you've been wanting to learn more about lighting or you just wanna be in an environment with people who think like you as a creative, this is the place that you wanted to be. Everybody was super helpful. I felt a little lost at first, but by the end of it, I feel like I'm a pro. So if you want to join and come to any of the lighting classes, hit him up. I promise you will not regret it. What's going on, everybody? It is your boy Q Visuals. Just wrapped up a little session here with 924 Photography and Sam Serato. It's an awesome place to be if you're a beginner photographer or intermediate or even an expert. You're gonna share kind of ideas with like-minded individuals. You're gonna take some pictures, learn the lighting. Uh, there's a plethora of the learn, there's a plethora of information to learn. Can't express enough how thankful I am to be here, to meet all the other creatives that are in the area that have come from different distances. It's also a good opportunity to connect and build friends with people who are in the industry as well. You'll learn about color grade over here. You'll learn about lighting, the different lighting techniques. I mean, the list goes on and on. So make sure you tap in with 924 Photography. And when you get a chance, tap in with Q Visuals as well at cue.visuals. Go. Just did a workshop with 924 Photography and Sam one of the best workshops I've been to. Hot as all ever down here in Texas, but guess what? It was worth all the sweat. It was good time, good fun, good knowledge. Um, I would recommend anybody, hook up with them. Come on and, and learn something because they, they got it. what's going on right now. Max, thank you so much, man. Listen, you did not have to send me $10, man, in the super chat, but I truly appreciate it. And coffee, if I drunk coffee, but I tell you what I am going to do. I'm definitely going to go get me an ice cream because I'm lactose intolerant. So when I'm on the toilet, I'm going to thank you because <laughs> that's exactly what I'm going to go do. So thank you so much for that, man. Y'all, you don't have to send me no money, but thank you so much, man. I really appreciate that. Lonnie, man, that was pretty cool, Max, man. That's what's up. Yeah, man. I was looking at man, the super chat work now. So, so that, that's, yeah. that's on point. Yeah, it's been working. People just don't send money. I mean, I don't <laughs> ask people to send no money. I don't really care about all that. But, uh, but hey, I am going to use that $10. As a matter of fact, what I might do is that $10, since I don't drink coffee, I might go buy me a steak and put it on my Traeger that Chris uh, <laughs> uh, put me up on. So, hey, listen, if you're not following me and Lonnie Strickland, uh, our stuff is on the screen right here. That's our Instagram right up underneath our name. Go check us out. We are on there posting pictures, and um, I do videos as well on there. So you get all the information there before you get it here. Uh, and like I said before, I'm so sorry that I haven't been putting out whole lot of content i got so much stuff going on on right here that it's hard for me to keep in and keep doing production because this is the thing that i feel like on youtube for my channel it's an entertainment channel first then i teach y'all something so if you grab something out of there that is absolutely awesome and that's what i want to start keep doing so whether it's my car videos or whether it is my um photography videos you would definitely learn something that when i do my car videos that's just for me to just get in in tune with my video and I'll, i'm able to just hone in on those skills and i don't have to worry about editing images and stuff like that so learning what do you how you feel about your um your thing cleo uh, my boy cleo draper is in here boy that's what's up yeah me i my channel is it has a little direction right now which is not you know the greatest but I got to get up on it, but uh, I'm going to focus more on lighting on my channel and just, you know, a little bit of gear review, not just a whole bunch of, um, a whole bunch of, you know, just a bunch, bunch of videos about nothing. So I don't want to be selling you guys products that I don't use on top of that. So when I do review something, it'll be worth the review. Um, and yeah, Chris, man, I've been putting this boy in this trailer for like a year now. Well, Lonnie was supposed, supposed to get me one. He was supposed to get me one, but he did some foul stuff, so we ain't going to talk about that. I, I could have had I, one a long man. time ago. A Traeger 570 hey, mama, and back. Hey, public, public put me on blast. Hey, I, my, hey, mama my mama come before Kedron. Well, you know what? You're right. Your mama does, and I love your mama, so, you know, she can have it. I'm good. But you know what? Everything got works out for a reason. I got the uh, Silverton 620. Me and Chris put it together here, and actually, I got some steaks in the refrigerator because my sister and my son is coming down That's today. Time. Man, I'm going to do this reverse sear, boys. going to get on. Now make, now, look, wait, now, make sure you sit them out and give them the room temp before you slap oh, yeah. them on. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right, Captain. All right, Captain. So, hey, let's... Matter, of, matter of fact, one day we one day we gonna do it. We we're we saying we're gonna do this. One day we're gonna drop a cooking video. 
Oh yeah, we definitely gonna drop a cooking video on here. Uh, John Harville is here. Lunny is a chef. He should do a cooking channel. Hey, we were just talking about that. Yes, yeah, sir. Yeah, we were talking about it. Yes, yeah, sir. We definitely gonna do that. Uh, so what I want to say is, you can follow me on Instagram right here. This is my Instagram page. It's nine two four photography. I don't know if you're following me over there, but you could definitely go over there. Uh, I don't have Lunny's up right now, but also, um. Anytime you see my images or my videos, I have a color grading tutorial. You can send me a DM on my Instagram account and I can send you the link uh, for that there. Or what I'll do is I'll just pin it in the post. It is $35 to learn how I color grade. I go through everything. I don't hide anything. And also, in, while you're in the store, there's a dodge and burn tutorial that is $62. That's under $100 for both. And what's so cool about these tutorial uh, is... I am never going to up the price. It's always going to be $62 and $35. But what is going to happen for you is when you buy it, keep this email in, in your saved messages because when I upload new content, when I learn something new, I'll put it on there if I feel like it's worth putting on there and you get it for free constantly. So people who've already bought it, thank you so much. Please continue to uh, send out your... Um, how you feel about the tutorial and I don't want you to lie. If you don't like it, you don't like it. You know, it's not for everybody. But if you want to color grade or dodge and burn like me, then this is it and I go 100%. Again, uh, I think I have one more video. This is a video that I did for Mars. Uh, uh oh. This is a video that I did for uh, Hollyland with the, Mar the new Mars 300. Check this out. So I played that video to let you know, uh, I'm actually using the Hollyland uh, Mars 300 right now to transmit my video signal so I can go live. So I don't have cords running all the way over to my camera uh, as I, while I'm doing this live feed. I'm using my Hollyland um, Mars 300. Now also I have the Hollyland Mars 400S. Now what's good about this and the reason why I'm bringing this up is because... Lens go. You have a wireless trans uh, transmitter here and receiver so you can receive your audio. Well, sometimes you may be on a gimbal and you need to have a wireless video transmitter. And that is what these are. So Hollyland makes uh, wireless video transmitters and uh, microphones, not microphones, but uh, intercom systems and stuff like that. So you can take your stuff to a different level. Uh, I'm going to add Lunny back in right now. Uh, when we're talking about taking your stuff to a different level, you can pull focus. If you're trying to uh, take pictures of your own self, it's always good to have uh, these transmitters. Speaking of that, I also have another thing that Hollyland sent me. This right here is the Mars X, and this is small. I kind of recommend this for photographers because it's small, right. and you can transmit uh, your video to your clients up to three devices like iPads, phones, and stuff like that. So I recommend this one because it's small for uh, the clients. Now, one thing, Lunny, is the battery life on here sucks. But the cool part is... Uh, I realized that the other day. Oh, yeah, man, it sucks bad. But the cool thing is it has I don't say a... it sucks bad. No, it sucks it's bad. Just, it, it, it just don't last as long as you would expect it because you're used to the 300. You got to think about what yeah. it's... It's just a little bitty box. And you got to think about what it's doing. Yeah. I mean, well, you know, they, and, they could make it a little bit thicker for a bigger battery, but they made it compact. So, well, you know, but you can go ahead, go ahead. Uh, Hollyland told me that they said that the battery wasn't good. The battery, I okay, I ain't gonna say it sucks, but I it, it'll go down pretty fast. I mean, you probably get 30 to 40 minutes yeah. out of it. But the cool thing about it, you got a USB C right here, and if you got a power yeah, bank, you could just charge it up and it'll run all day long. Right. So, that's a that's a workaround, yeah. Um. <clears throat> I was, okay, I was going to this. So, um, I have a video up on my channel. Actually, um, it's a fail video, and I left it up because it's reminding me that we got to get stuff right. But I actually Can you did play a live it? shoot. Can you play it on um, yours? I don't, I don't think so. I'm not. I didn't log into my. Uh, I came in as a guest. I didn't, I didn't oh. join that. Oh, um, okay, okay. So, so what? Well, next time, know. you got to do that. 
Well, here, if you could do it here, I'm going to come back on my side real quick. Here. Hold on real quick. While Lunny is trying to do that to show us that video, uh, right now, as always, I like to come and I like to tell y'all what I'm using. Cleo, thank you so much. Yeah, I cooked breakfast on my Blackstone flat top this morning for me and my wife. Connect your ISO or Android. Uh, both. You can connect both. Wi-Fi. Yes, sir. It is great. Uh, so I'm using the Falcon Eyes. Hold on real quick. The Falcon, Falcon Eyes 18 TDX light panel. It's a flat light panel with a grid on it and a, a small box to go around it. Stay tuned for that review. Uh, I'm also using a 12 by 55 strip box with a grid on it to light myself up above right here to give me that little separation. And that is being powered by the Godox SL60. Uh, also, back here in the corner, I have a Falcon Eyes Pocket Light F7 that has an orange tint going back here on the back. And then on the other side, behind that little thing back there, is another Pocket Light F7. So I have a four light set up for this feed. Now, inside of our software that we're doing is vMix I'm using. And in vMix, I've uh, made the color a little more darker than I'm seeing on my monitor. Now, I'm going to go back real quick and tell y'all something. So right now, I told you earlier, I'm using the Hollyland uh, Mars 300 Pro to transmit my video signal. It's actually going into a monitor right here, which is the OC, which you got to stay tuned for that mon uh, video as well. The OC 4K. A uh, seven inch monitor that I can see myself right here. So I'm not studying looking up here I can actually see myself and I don't know why I need to see myself But I feel like when I'm doing live feeds me just looking directly into the camera And I know a lot of youtubers might feel like this It kind of feels awkward and if somebody was to walk into the room and see you talking to a camera like that They would think that you were odd. So I have um, a video Signal going here so I can actually see myself so it don't feel as weird <laughs> So I don't know if Lunny is frozen. I think he is So what I'm going to do is for the people who just now joined I am definitely going to play this video one more time for y'all the one that I did for uh, Andy Cine and <laughs> Lens go. I'm sorry. It's my birthday. I'm trying to think about other stuff and lens go So check this video out for one last time. We put a lot of time in it. Here we go. So we are out here at Oak Point Park and we are doing some natural light shooting using some sun to backlight our subjects using some leading lines. Running that thing like a master. I see you rolling it back and forth. I mean, the 50 is always, it's a good lens. It's a solid lens. It's, it'll, I still take it out. And I, I did the 1.8. When I first started, it was like $125. But I did upgrade to the 1.4. And it, is, it does make a difference in your pictures. So just try these lenses and see which ones you like. You'll get a feel for which one 
is good for you. Which one is your, your honey, honey loon? Hi guys, so my class is going really good. It's like 10 something and it's really hot and it's gonna get hotter. Um, but we're doing a lot of learning and we're having a lot of fun and we're doing a lot of getting to know each other. Um, we hope to see you next time. Man, thank y'all so much, man, for joining in. Uh, thank you for all the birthday wishes, whether if it's on my phone or up here. Thank y'all so much. I am 41 today, and it is just a blessing to be here on this earth as 41. I've seen a lot of friends. I've seen a lot of people come and go. Um, and so I, it's just a blessing to be here. You know, uh, people talk about, you know, wealth and stuff like that. I don't feel like wealth is you know, wealth don't have to be money. Wealth can be your health. You know what I'm saying? I've literally not had any health issues, you know, too much. I've been sick here and there throughout my life, but 41 years, I mean, it's been great. So I want to say thank you for that. You know what I'm saying? So if that's the case, then yes, I am absolutely wealthy because I can wake up every day right now, as of right now at 41 and not have any health issues, not have to go to the hospital and just be spending a whole lot of money there. So thank you. So, uh, I think Lunny is back now. I'm going to bring him in. Lundog. Yeah, man. Uh, a little complicated to get that. Did you get it? Stuff for it? Nah, man. I, we, yeah, we have to work on that later. Okay. So the same thing I was working on the other day with that split screen, and then when I'm in, you're not in. But we'll, we'll get it figured out. Somebody, uh, 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 John said, uh, "Key, you went swimming, man. It's so hot outside, dude. As soon as I step outside out here, I am sweating like a racehorse, man, at a conducted turbine with a glue truck behind me." <laughs> he said, "Diapers mandatory." Oh my goodness, yes. So guys, thank y'all so much. And I want to say thank you to uh, Lensgo again for sending these microphones out to do a review. If you missed the giveaway, don't worry. We, we're definitely going to have more. The much more, live more stuff. Oh, absolutely. And I'm going to start doing all my reviews live. If you like this live, live review so you can actually message us, Put it in the comments. And even after this video, this is what I want y'all to do. This helps me and helps my channel. After this video, everybody that's on here, after this video, this is what I want you to do for me. For my birthday, can y'all go over to the actual page once it's up, hit the like button. You don't have to share it if you don't want to, but definitely hit the like button and comment because on the YouTube algorithm, it'll, it'll send it up. And that will be great, man. The more likes and views i get on there the more i can bring y'all more content and these um companies will see it and be like okay i want y'all i want you to do a, a live review of like, my stuff engagement engagement is key if people don't engage yes. then they're just like okay what's the point it don't cost you nothing so after this video or even if you want to now just go like the video and um like I said, like it, comment on it. Please comment. Just say, man, this was dope. Keep doing these live feeds for me. And there's that. And remember, next Tuesday at 10 a.m., we're going live with Andy Cine. I'm going to send them a message tonight to see if we can give away a monitor to see if they're down for that. I'm pretty sure they will be, but I'm not sure. But if so, somebody will win an Andy Cine, uh C7 uh, monitor if they're going to do a giveaway. Uh, yeah, but... I want to say thank you so much, Arkansas James. I mean, James, what's up, man? So if y'all, I hope that y'all like this video, man. Like literally, this live feed is taking me and Lunny a lot trial and error. You know, it's different from like a lot of these live feeds. But before I go, I want to show. I know I was talking about the Mars 400s, but let me show you the video where Chris Martin was using the Mars to transmit to one of my students as I taught this uh, lighting workshop a couple of weekends ago.
Yes, sir. Man, I'm telling y'all, these transmitters, whether it's the Mars 400S, whether if it's the uh, Mars X for photographers and videographers that just want to transmit to uh, iPads, iPhones, and Android devices, or the Mars 300 Pro, this definitely will work for you. Um, so definitely check out my live feed that we did for Hollyland. It should be right up underneath this one. We did a full live feed with them. And we gave away two Mars 300 Pros. We did one on Facebook and we did one here on YouTube. So if you're not subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? You should definitely hit that subscribe button right now, right now, because you are missing out on a lot of other stuff. So also what I want you to do is I want you to hit that like button. And hit that subscribe button. Well, hit that subscribe button and hit that bell so you don't never miss another video from me. And like I said earlier, if y'all would do me a birthday favor, please, is after this is over, go to the main post once it's uploaded, like it, and just comment. We love this live uh, re product review. Do another one if you feel like I should do it. And I'm gonna let Lonnie do the closing thoughts, and then we're gonna see y'all in our uh, next video. Uh, he like put me on the spot, don't y'all? I ain't got no testimonials. Hey, guys, like you said, like, comment, sub, subscribe, post your thoughts, post your comments. Uh, if you like the live feed reviews, it's easier on us to do these rather than try to plan something and get out with all this Rona and everything else. This is a lot easier for us to come in and drop a live rather than putting a video together. Um, we can do this on the go. We can mess up and I ain't going to say not care, but, but we can, you know, get it done a lot quicker. And the interaction is great from you guys to us. So, with that being said, we're going to do a lot more of these. Yes, I'm a, I'm a lot a, more. I'm going to try to, myself, personally, do a lot more of these because I, I get I get so caught up in doing everything else. These lives are a lot easier for me to do rather than going yeah. to record a video because Keegan is in BFE way out there on the other side of town, and I'm in Egypt on this side of town. And uh, no tell to say I'm probably buying shoes somewhere, but uh, it's all good. <laughs> Uh, but but yeah, man, this this is a lot easier for us to do, is to connect with you guys. And, and also, you know. I want to say if you like this format, like I don't mind going out shooting a lot of B roll to cinematic and come back and talk about the products. I when I when we do product reviews, I really don't like to go and just sit in front of a desk and talk to the camera. Right. I like to look up here and see your comments so I can interact with you and so I can answer because it's so hard for me to come back later and answer everybody's question. But if you come on live, we can answer all your questions right here. And right. your question that you actually ask could help somebody else out in the future so I don't have to answer it. Yeah, so he he would go out and do all the, the shooting and all the QC stuff. And I come back in and I'll be the technical guy answering all the tech questions. So will it work with this? Will it work with that? And how? And, you know, so that that's that's what makes us a good team is, you know, he likes to go out there and be cute. And I just like to go out there and dissect things. Yeah, because I'm, I'm the brains. No, I, I'm the beauty and he's the brains. So, again, guys, I want to say thank you so much for joining on this live feed. And from us to you, keep shooting. Never let anybody tell you you can't do something because you can and keep pushing. And we're going to see y'all in our next video. Peace. See you later, birthday boy.